I think it is in one of the healthiest places it's it's been in a long time. I think that the shows this year are so unbelievably uh, original, so exciting, and it's uh, it's a thrill to be included in this season. I'm loving Broadway a whole lot right now, and I'll tell you why. Broadway's risk, and that somebody chose to take the risk of telling this particular story at this time, especially in this way, uh, to me is extraordinary. So I think that Broadway has this way of surprising. I think it's so exciting. It's amazing. I mean, you know, it seems like shows are doing really well, and so much of this season I thought was some of the best theater I'd ever seen plays and musicals. I mean, it was so, so good. So I'm just so honored to be a part of, of this season in general. Oh, baby, we're thriving. Come on. How many how many great TV and movie stars are coming to visit us who are actually skilled? We're not having to witness some kind of, you know, initiation right here. We're, uh, we're seeing actors who are magnificent on stage as well as television is fil and film. And so the sales, I assume, are good. It's very exciting. Yes, Broadway's more corporate than when I started out, and the mega musicals are a bit corporate, but we, we want a musical. We want long runs. We want the extravagance and the enthusiasm and the volcanic energy of New York, and that is still there on Broadway, and I would say only on Broadway. I've played all over this country. Ain't nothing like playing Broadway. I think it's pretty healthy right now. I think it's pretty healthy, especially for the straight play. Uh, we're seeing some really good uh, attendance. And I think one of the other things that's really good is, is um, uh, the people that are coming to see. I, I had lunch with some people today who uh, went to see How to Succeed. And they said how amazing it was because the audience was so young because of Radcliffe, of course, but that's great. That's getting a new generation into the theater, you know, and I think once you get into the theater, if you've never been before, and you see what a magic place it can be, it's a huge thing. Well, I mean, I look behind you and there's like thousands of people lining the streets. I know they want to see celebrities, but you know, this is a celebration of theater and uh, there seems to be enormous energy. There's wonderful new plays and new productions on Broadway. It seems to be thriving. And I think uh, theater is crucial to people's lives. And um, clearly everybody recognizes that. Oh, I think it's fabulous. I think that it's exciting. I think that with so many shows that we're, we're sort of branching out, I think that there's a, I don't think Broadway's ever gonna go away. I mean, and I don't think it was ever going to, no matter what's happening in the economy. I mean, we've turned to entertainment and this is a very raw form of entertainment and I don't, I think it's there. Plays, musicals, across the board, the talent is phenomenal. I don't remember being quite this excited by the, the actual specifics of the, um, the shows as I am this year. I think this is one of the best seasons I've ever seen on Broadway. And I think that our play, The Motherfucker with the Hat, is, is a beginning of some kind of evolution on Broadway and I, that I would like to see continued. Um, it's not your usual Broadway fair, but there's an audience for it and the people are coming. And, and we have audience, we have the Upper East Side and the Hood sitting side by side in the theater, watching theater on Broadway. I, I can't remember the last time I saw that, so.